A dream can be so powerful that you can invite the divine to participate in the in the dream, and that's the uh, essence of the story of uh, God's Secrets, where you have a soul who has like I don't have anybody else, I don't know anybody else, but I know you, divine, and you have to take part in the very journey towards reaching you. And when your when your uh, being is so powerful, when your when your thoughts, because what is the use of bhakti or uh, faith? Because your mind is not diluted with any other thoughts, any other thing in this world is secondary, and your faith remains as the most predominant emotion and your thoughts. In fact, what else you will do? Have dissipated energy. Because the entire reason why we have dissipated energy is your mind is focused on so many things. If your mind is focused on that one faith and you start accepting all the other things in your life, everything else exists, but that is the predominant thing. Your very being becomes so powerful. And that's the entire essence where you understand when your being becomes so powerful, so uh, concentrated on one source of faith, then the way you become is that's what, what Rama did when he had this 14 years of penance. From being a king, he walks into a forest and they say it's a 14 years of penance to reach that state and then he further proceeds with the higher supreme consciousness so every single life who had been into because we could have lived our life at any way whatever we wanted dissipated into all these energies uh thing and we can also live a life of very high purpose and that one concentrated faith whatever faith that you can follow and when you can concentrate it onto that one faith the state in which you become will be close because that's why they say in faith Hanuman became God. The reason is because during this entire process of faith, he has actually been focusing on his faith and in the process, he became the divine in his own 